Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'm sore. Ouch. What's up, you guys? I'm in here. Welcome to my very first Five Minute Friday. Today, we're going to talk about recovery. Three things that are pretty crucial for your recovery. Now, before we talk about the three things that we need to do to recover really well, and of course, we're talking about fitness, right? So after a big workout, after a big race, a big competition, anything you're training for, it's going to be very important to recover properly. Now, before we get into all that, those details, we got to understand what is recovery and how does it work. Recovery, it's your body repairing himself. Right? So when you work out, train, have a race, actually making damage to your body, and damage is good. To a certain degree, all the muscle fibers and everything in your body will break down as you work out, when you're lifting weights, when you're sprinting, running, swimming, any kind of training you do. And we need to allow your body to recover, which means repair what we just damaged to be able to improve, create strength, uh, lean out, whatever it is that we're doing. That's the way it works. You create damage, you let it recover, your body will get stronger, and then you hit it again, go to the work, go to the gym, hit another workout, uh, deadlift again, run again, swim again, whatever you're doing, and that's a cycle you wanna keep doing to be able to improve, get stronger, get fitter, and that's the way the recovery works. Now, how do we recover? What's the best way to recover? I like to go back to the basics. I think that everybody needs to understand that that going back to the basics is gonna be very important. Number one, resting, right? So sleeping is very important. When you sleep, you allow your body to really fully recover, repair itself. Everybody's a little bit different, so make sure you find out how many hours works for you. For the most part, I wanna say, I think the average people need a, anywhere from like, I think eight hours is gonna be probably what most people need. Now when you talk about like, 10 to 11 to 12 hours, most of the time we're talking about elite athletes. Some of it is gonna be pretty much training and working out for their career. It could be a CrossFit athlete, a Olympian, maybe a swimmer. They're training so much that they actually need to rest a little more. And number two, caloric intake. So what you eat. We talked about macronutrients a lot. Uh, we got protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Make sure that everything is really good quality. If you get really crappy food, you're gonna perform crappy, you're not gonna be able to recover as much. So number three and last one, it's hydration. I think that a lot of times we don't really think about this. Making sure that you stay really hydrated is gonna be very important. Now, as we train, have enough electrolytes in your body is gonna be very important. Doing things where like making sure you have a jug of water that you can actually drink through the day, anywhere from like two to three liters a day, I think is gonna be pretty crucial. Adding electrolytes to your water is gonna be good. Little tip, I like to wake up in the morning, first thing I do, try to drink about a liter of water within the first 30 minutes that I wake up. Uh, and it makes me feel really good, it kinda hydrates me, and it makes me a, a little more awake. So try that one more time, talk about three things. First, it's gonna be enough sleep. Make sure you figure out what you need to do. Sometimes find the tools you need to make sure you sleep enough and make sure you sleep deeply is gonna be important. Number two, calories in are gonna be very important. So make sure you eat enough calories, enough protein, enough fat, enough carbohydrates, good quality stuff. That's gonna be another key to recover. Number three, hydration. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Like today I'm drinking a Fit Aid right here. That's gonna be a good recovery drink that I can get after a workout, not sponsored by the way. All right, and uh, that's gonna help a lot. But again, go back to the basics. Make sure you get enough sleep, enough food, enough water. And then after that, you can start exploring a little more of how can I actually get a little more recovery on my own on top of what I'm doing. Now, if you don't get, if you're not getting enough sleep, enough food and good quality, and enough water, Focus on that first, make sure that's dialed in, and you can actually fix all those things before you start adding any supplements, any uh, you know, extra you know, recovery drinks, and spending money on treatment, and all that kind of stuff, okay? If your food, sleeping, and water is looking awesome, and you're to the point, then you can start looking into maybe uh, adding a little more outside treatment and outside supplementation to be able to increase that, that recovery. Because remember, with that proper recovery, can't get better, you're not gonna improve, you're not gonna get stronger. So make sure you hit the heart, the gym hard, and hit your recovery hard too, okay? Well, I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna leave a comment below, please do. Smash that button, like the video if you like. I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? All right, peace.